today on Papa's Projects, it is nine o'clock in the morning. It's about 78 degrees outside. And we are running two mini split heat pumps upstairs and two mini split heat pumps off of this set over here downstairs. We're also running our pool pump and pool heater off of this one. So on this one, we are actually using almost a kilowatt where we are now. And we're using a kilowatt on each one of these um, arrays that we have on this uh, 48 volt inverter off grid. It's 5,000 watt. So we're also, we're at 51.7, 51 point, we're charging the batteries on this 48 volt system. We're also running this washing machine and we're still charging our batteries well on this charging our batteries on that and we're using this 48 volt off-grid inverter which is pure sine wave and we are using this for our utility charging on this one and you're charging it with 30 amps and we're getting three amps off of three to five amps off of our solar panels this early in the morning so we are completely charging our six kilowatt battery bank that we used overnight to run our fridge and freezers and lights outside Plenty of power. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. We can still, in an hour, fire up this 220 volt, 18,000 BTU heat pump, along with this 12,000 BTU, 120 volt heat pump to cool our garage down if we want to. The one thing I really like is I don't need to use a lot of power in the morning that I'm producing so I always use my inverters to charge up my main battery bank that I have over here that I use overnight and it works fantastic because all these are pure sine wave off-grid inverters so they'll charge I can I can charge this one off of this array by plugging into these plugs. I can charge this one through this cord that I have plugged in right over here. This one I have, this one I can plug it into either this one or plug it into that one. So I can charge my battery banks on all these using my other inverters, which is really nice because depending on which inverters I want to use first to start cooling my house when it's going to be 93 degrees today, I get my choice. And the one thing I like is everything that I did, I put GFI units on here and then I put everything on extension cords so that if I ever sell my house, this is portable. All I got to do is pack it up and move it it's not hardwired because it's off grid and this one I start getting power early in the morning at six o'clock in the morning it starts charging the batteries this one starts charging around seven o'clock and this one starts charging around 7 30 and 7 30 to 10 30 before all the arrays are in full sun but this one by 8 a.m all the arrays are in full sun for the day. Same thing with this one. Early in the morning at seven o'clock, both the arrays on this one are in complete sun and producing a lot of power. So it uh, works well. 
the reason why I have three of these separate systems is I actually started out with this type of inverter that is a 12 or 24 volt and it is a um, a 50 amp inverter. So you can use this on 12 volt systems or 24 volt systems, which I'm going to eventually hook up for this one and add this to these inverters. Now that's just a charge controller that will not do anything else but charge my batteries. But I have like seven or eight of those that I started out with. Then I moved to these as I gained more confidence. And then I ended up moving to this one, which is um, dual phase. So I can run that 120 volt mini split off of this dual phase off grid inverter, pure sine wave. And I can run this 230 volt. I can't remember if it's 220 or 230 that I have it hooked up. I can change the parameters on that screen. So, but I can run both of those at the same time, 120 and 230 at the same time. This one, um, this is UL listed. So if you wanted to hook up to your grid, you could actually use this one. You'd have to pull the permits and everything to do it, but it is UL listed. So hope this helps you. I um, have a different type of system than most people because I grew it from 12 volt inverters to using these Harbor Freight inverters that are really loud <laughs> when they fire up and get close to 75% of the power consumption they can use put out, they get really loud, those fans. And then I, like I said, I went to the 12 volt, I mean, uh, the 24 volt, then I went to the 48 volt and 48 volt. And over here, this is a 48 volt system that I have to hook up. It weighs a ton. This thing is a grow watt, 12 kilowatt off grid inverter, dual phase. And this thing is a low voltage. This will surge to 36,000 watts on this thing. And I can hook up, the lady said I could hook up 9,000 watts on each array on this. So it, even though it's a 12,000, I could go to seven or 9,000 watts on each array. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm probably gonna do 7,000 watts. But this thing weighs 186 pounds and I have to be able to get that up on that wall somewhere. <laughs> so that's not a, gonna be an easy task. But I could pretty much remove all those and just keep, um, I could keep this dual phase because that's a dual phase on that grow watt. So I keep this one and that one and then remove these off the wall and use all those arrays for these and this on that. And that would be great. I could run a lot of stuff. I could run my hot water heater off of that as well, which is 220 volts. Eventually I want to be able to run my 127,000 BTU, which is a 12 and a half ton pool heat pump to be able to start that thing up and run that off of there. We'll see in the future. Anyways, that's it today. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and please share. Hope you have a wonderful and blessed day, and we'll see you soon.